Hey there YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today, bundled up again because our cold weather is back. And you'll see me like this quite a bit um, for the next few months while it's cold because we don't use heat in the house until it gets really, really cold. We'll just turn it on a little bit in the morning sometimes and today didn't qualify. So anyhow, I get asked all the time, especially on Instagram, like every time I show a piece of fruit, how do you pick this fruit? How do you know when it's right? Blah, blah, blah. And the, the, the best answer I would give to that is, is just to buy a lot of fruit, try it out, learn for yourself. Just, you know, you got to go through a lot of different fruit. Now today, like I said, I've got the papaya. Now when I was, when I first moved to Costa Rica, I lived in Costa Rica for 18 years. Um, and until I became vegan, I didn't really care for papaya. It was one of those things like I would order a fruit bowl a lot of time for breakfast down there. And if papaya came in it, I would eat the papaya because I knew it was good for you, but I would like eat a bite of papaya with something else. And a lot of times I even joke that papaya fe uh, tasted like feet. And a lot of people will, I hear people all the time say the same exact things I said before I kind of really learned papayas a little bit. Like, yeah, I just don't like papaya. I've never gotten a good one. Um, so the picking, they're not really, I can't give you too much on the picking out part of them. I am currently in an area that's, um, think Pensacola, Florida, Mobile, Alabama. I'm close to both of those. So it's not like I'm an, in a tropical area, in an area known for tropical fruit. And these, I, some, I buy some of them at um, a, like a local supermarket around here. It's kind of like a smaller chain. And then I buy some at Publix. And I just tend to find that it, they're either good or they're not good. Like you'll have a bat like for several months every time you buy one they're good or either every time you buy one they're not great so most of the ones i'm getting i don't know if this light in the kitchen picks up a lot of the orange there's more orange on here than you can tell but i i generally don't get ones that are just like solid green you know almost where they're kind of hard usually they'll have you know they'll have a little bit of softness to them Anyhow, like I say, I'm just kind of rambling with this because it's more of a touch, smell, feel thing for me. You've kind of really got to be up close. See, as it's getting closer, I wanted to cut this a couple of days ago and it would have probably been okay, but I'm like, it's not quite ready because when it starts getting ready, it get, there's more orange on it. It gets a little bit of these kind of worn looking, darker looking spots gets like these little indentations and you feel just the slightest bit more give to it. Now you don't want to let it wait and let it get soft and mushy, but I'm going to say that right now this is optimal for this uh, papaya today. I mean, I could cut it tomorrow. It's not like it's going to be bad tomorrow, but let's cut it and let's uh, just see. Yep, color looking good, color looking good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a nice looking one. Let me get rid of those seeds real quick and I'll be right back. And just like I thought it would be, this is a good one. Ooh, look at that. Went ahead and scraped the seeds out and I actually cut up a half. And oh yeah, yes, Poindexter, I know the seeds are good for you, but in theory, they're good for you. They're good for digestion. You can use them for a number of things, but in practice, I don't keep seeds around. I mean, I have done that from time to time, uh, ground some up in my green smoothie, but I'm throwing nutrition at my body all day long. I don't need to be <clears throat> saving, grinding, and eating papaya seeds. And got myself a nice little bowl already cut up here. Now a night I don't have a, I don't have a lime today, but that's a nice little uh, addition to it as well. Sometimes I'll squeeze a little bit of lime juice on there, and also too I like to use tahini on there from time to time. It's just, I, I learned this from uh, some Mexican friends of mine, um, and this is some really good stuff. Adds a nice little uh, extra bit of spice on little spice as compared to the sweetness of the papaya there, but. Once again, seriously, on all your fruit and on both things, I'm, I could even uh, make the analogy and compare it to making ice cream. When I learned how to really make good 
nice cream or if you're not sure what that is raw vegan nice cream just made with frozen bananas I got so good at it because I made it every day over and over for about a year so you if you do things repetition if you buy certain fruits over and over and you kind of get used to okay this didn't work out I didn't let it I didn't wait long enough and that's what I'll usually do with the papaya. I get a little bit impatient and I cut it a little bit too early and it's not quite as juicy and it's not as good. It's still okay. I eat them, but um, yep, just have a little patience. And um, like I say, don't get too uh, caught up in all these little different things. Um, just buy yourself a papaya, give it plenty of time. And just kind of like I say, learn as you go. If you cut one that's not good and just kind of pay attention. What, could I have waited a little bit longer? Or are they just not good? Like I say, and I'll finish up here just to repeat myself. Normally, 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 and this isn't an area for tropical fruit, but if I get one at an area, if I get one, then I get another one. If I get two or three or four, then yeah, I'm pro they're probably going to be good for a while. So Anyhow, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go eat my papaya, and I will see you guys here uh, soon. Peace.